Hello, I'm on location today with Exploring Dave and um, we're going to look at a rotor radar station. We're going to try and get in the bunker as well. So let's go. Here we are, rotor radar station. There's a bunker over there which we're going to go visit shortly, try and get in there. But here's all the outbuildings that are left behind. There's a rotor radar station from the 1950s. Shed now. Yeah, just a shed for cows. But this would have had, this would have had a radio, air, uh, a radar aerial on it. There's the old electronics for it. And then up above, uh, the waveguide, which is the part that, the waveguide is the part that transmits and receives the um, data from the radio aerial. An aerial's the big thing that spins round, radar dish people call them. But the waveguide would have come down, down this culvert here, uh, and then down this wall, and into the top of here, and then that data would have been processed and sent off to the ops room, which is downstairs. But the actual, uh, the aerial's obviously long gone now. That would have sat on top there. Um, there would have been a cover on the wall here, because you could take the aerial off for maintenance and they used to have a triangular or what is it, a hexagon? How many sides does a hexagon have? That shape, I need to work on my geometric shapes um, but they used to have a lid so you could take the aerial off and the lid holster would have been on that wall there probably on them pins but a lot of the electrics has been smashed up now the old fuseways there uh, we've got uh, the pad, this would have had either a motor generator or some sort of static frequency changer because the radars used to use 400 hertz, which is the frequency of the waveform and the faster the waveform the more information you send and receive so it used to convert the 50 hertz coming in from the mains up to 400 hertz then it process it, go up the waveguide to the aerial get the uh, range and detection from the aircraft that it was tracking back down to the ops room that was this room and we'll just get some footage of the uh, the other buildings, the other out, out buildings I believe this station had a Type 80 radar and then towards the end of its use it had a Type 84 I'll put pictures of those up there's a, another, that would have had a Type 80 on it, that building there, in the centre. And then these would have been uh, electronic rooms. The entrance to the underground section uh, was disguised as a bungalow. And you can see what remains of it now, there's a chimney stack stuck up in the air and a flat roof. The pitch roof has actually been taken away. Running along the full length of the pitch roof was a galvanised steel water tank and that used to provide the water services for the underground bunker itself. Sadly that's also missing as well now. Um, it seems that every time I come back there's more and more pieces missing. Um, so this is a real good opportunity to photograph what's left uh, before it all disappears really. Sad. Yeah it really is. So yeah, that's what we're doing today, getting some good footage, photographs. We'll get the drone up in a bit and uh, we'll come into YouTube. So, that's where the chimney is, is where the bungalow, where the entrance is. And then there's a long tunnel that goes down to the main underground facility itself. 
over there you can see a building with a, a ducting on top. That's where the escape tunnel is for the bunker itself. So you can see, judging by the distance between them, it's a fairly large underground installation. No, I'm alright in thinking that was like the ops room where they had the plotters, radar plotters. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, we're going to try and get in. Go underground, as Paul Weller used to say. See, from the shape of that building there, that looks like it's got something underneath it, just the way it's sort of built up. Yeah, there's not much left of the cottage now, is there? A lot of the RAF fencing. Their RAF fence posts all just piled up next to that building there. Farms obviously got fed up with them and just piled them up. Idiots have sadly been and defeated that building. More RA fence posts. So that's the what was the uh, bungalow, disguised bungalow. The only thing they did wrong was all the road to radar stations had the same bungalow. So it was kind of obvious once you knew what you were looking for. Legs are too short. Yeah, something's been placed over the bunker entrance. Put concrete slabs in the water down. I mean, oh dear. That's obviously to keep us out. Yeah. We'll try the escape hatch though. Well, the last time we was over there, the staircase rusted away to nothing. Alright. And what a shame. More electrics. So the remains of a light switch. Fireplace, RAF eggshell blue. So like the blast shutters for the windows. But yeah, sadly the, the farmers covered the, the entrance to the bunker up, it's covered it over with a big water tank and concrete slabs. So sadly we might not be able to get in today. Well, it would have been under there. area fencing. That would have formed part of the power supply for the rotor bunker. That would have been the way in, that was the gate, that was the way into the disguised bungalow which was the rotor bunker.
See the style of the, the edging of the bricks where they tried to make it look like a domestic property. That's another base for a Type 80 radar. And it looks like the uh, looks like the farmers piled up, piled rubble up in front of the entrance, so you can't get into it. That's deep. Found a deep bit. Again, this one's been stripped out, but you can see where the radar aerial was and the uh, static frequency changer, or it had a motor generator, one of the one of the two, but it did the same function. Then the electronics for it, and I've lost Dave again. There he is. Let's go catch him up. So here there would have been a larger aerial, probably a Type 84. See where the, uh, the pad is for the, uh, the mast and then it would have stood up there. And that was the escape patch, was it? Yeah. You can see in, you can see the staircases that have been smashed out, removed. Right. But you, and now they've welded the doorway up with steel bars, so you can't get in at all now. Such a shame. But yeah, this was a Type 8, for a Type 84, you can see where they've needed a larger waveguide for the, for the larger aerial, which I'll put a picture up of. They look real cold war the the Type 84s look real, real Cold War, real retro, the great big aerial, real, it's got a lot of depth in it. Um, they're a long range search radar. So uh, yeah, there's a similar electronics, MG set bed again, but then because it was a bigger radar I needed more power. Um, they've actually dug a pit to fit all the cables in. Uh, and then there's actually, it's got its own section there for the waveguide. Yeah, it's filled, filled it in. Filled it in with cow. This was the air shaft that goes down to the uh, filter banks underneath. Right. So when you drop down the stairwell there, there's a short passage that runs along. And this first area is the, uh, the filter scrubbers and the air handling unit to filter the air for the underground facility uh, and then just about there is um, some big blast doors that take you through to the bunker itself. Again, you can see him if you look down. Yeah, again he's filled it with cow manure, cow manure. which is Mr. Farmer. Yeah, st still staircase. You're viewing this. I can't actually see this. A deep shaft down there. All these stair, stair treads have been took out. There is a complete one of these bunkers. 
uh, still intact that some volunteers, I don't know if they bought it or they are uh, MOD and donated it to them but it's, it's owned by a charity we're going to visit that one day very soon, we'll get in there and document it all well that, unfortunately that was the escape shaft uh, but the farmers just buried it with well cow poo that was the air shaft what were these concrete blocks here? What were they for? Three, three lines of pillars, like a giant. Yeah. They were for, I think they were for Zinwood, but I think they were like one of them um, listening posts. Oh, like a sound mirror? Yeah. Oh, wow. So you can see over there where there's, there's all, also like further structure for something. Have a peek at that. That's been a water tank or something, but again, farmers filled it up for us. It's just it's just destruction of history. That's all it is. That that is just vandalism. I don't care if the MOD is giving it back to him, that is vandalism. Again, there's the pads for the uh, for the Type 84 radar that would have been based on the top of that building. It certainly is. Watch out for that organic matter. Yeah, I found some earlier. Done my boots. See, it's showing a sign of its former glory there, the tiled floor. It will have been a, it will have been a nice outstation this in its day, but trash now, sadly. 